And we have finally reached it. This is Sister Wives, A Family Meltdown, Season 6, Episode 2. The finale. No. Wow. People are always wondering, can Cody get douchier? And the answer is yes. And today, we are approaching the apex. Maybe not. Maybe we're in a whole new level of doucheness. But anyway, they're going on a road trip. Ugh. Um, Janelle, right before, they just basically say Janelle's going to eventually uh, talk about some past relationship hurts, especially with Mary, probably when they get home. Not quite sure where they threw that out there. Uh, they stop at their friend Chris's and to get a line of credit for somewhere between 50 and 100K. Um, <clears throat> so they go to the first place and Cody's like, eh, I've changed my mind. I know we all agreed to a certain schedule, but I don't feel like it. And all the wives are like, wow, that's really rude. Don't worry ladies, it gets worse. So then they go to Lehigh, their old home. Christine's upset. It's a very emotional place. They have to go, but he's kind of like, oh, whatever with her emotions. And I know a lot of people don't like Christine. Theme of the episode. I'm kind of like, eh. There's times when I, I, I get her and there's times where I'm definitely like, oh, you know what I mean? So, uh, Janelle's the only one of the wives that I consistently like. And then it's like Mary and Christine are kind of in the middle. And then Robin, it's very rare that I'm like, oh, that Robin. Okay. Um, and then below that, like a million times, is Cody. And then the kids are up by Janelle. I like the kids. They're, they are pretty cool. Anyway, um, they stop by Christine's mom, who I get the impression <clears throat> is not a Cody fan. Yeah. She didn't say anything. She didn't even imply anything. There was something in her eyes, though, when she said about they've had discussions about how if she moves in with Christine, she doesn't get in the middle of the relationship. And I just have this impression of her, although she has done an excellent job of hiding it. But you just sometimes there's things you just can't hide. And I, my impression is that she's not a real big Cody fan. And I'm really bothered by the way he's talking about it. He has four houses and four wives. And of those... I mean, he even mentioned this episode that sometimes he goes so long without seeing his kids that it's a little awkward. And he's like, uh, do I hug you? Uh, I mean, man, did you hear that? No. So I'm like, she's basically a single mother at least 75% of the time. And that's assuming that on her day, he's there 100%, which he isn't. So, you know, I kind of feel like, yeah, she has the right to have her single elderly mother move in. Although her mother does not look elderly no. at all. But doing the math, I mean, unless she had, even if she had Christine, you know, she's probably in her 60s. I don't know. I don't, I wouldn't have guessed that. Um, and 60 isn't even all that old. But anyway, so they're talking about her moving in and Cody's like, well, I'm going to, you know, allow this. I thought, dude, you. I just, I, I think I could do a lot better job at being a husband to four women than, than he is. You couldn't do a worse job. Certainly don't think I could do a worse I don't want to. Yeah, well, that's... I don't think it could be that hard. Well, it, it, certainly not as hard as he's making it. Oh, well, himself. he certainly mentions it. Oh, and by the way, he randomly mentions, you know, we have this company, an online jewelry store called Sister Wives Closet. And I'm thinking, oh, never mentioned that before. Talk about beating the dead horse. <laughs> There's only tens of families who are interested in polygamous jewelry. All right, if the whole thing's stupid. If if uh, Robin wants to design jewelry, do what everybody else in the world does, which is get an Etsy. Design jewelry, make it, and sell it. You'll only be losing like a thousand bucks, okay? Right now, she's got their whole family, all their money tied up. Janelle could go run a business. I don't know. Anyway, they stop by... Uh, polygamous jewelry. I don't, I don't care. She could make antler underwear and lose uh, less money it's not, than it's not right all now. four polygamists but don't you want a ring yeah with for four your... with four women yeah i can share it with my my friends and this has sw on it anyway so um anyway so they go and they visit maddie and it's like the most obnoxious you know they prank her and i'm like oh my gosh anyway uh they're gonna go visit robin's friend matt I don't even know what that was about. But anyway, he cancels. So he's like, hey, let's call my friend Ken Grant. First off, we know Ken Grant's kind of a douche because he's friends with Cody and they were friends all through high school. So we already know that going into it. He was on a season, I don't know, three or four seasons ago. 
you know what, I, I there's a part of me, I'm really conflicted on this argument. Okay, so first off, they were all part of the Mormon church. We know they're Mormon, they're going to believe certain things. They don't have to be a jerk about it, but we already know that's kind of the guy he is. You can't get really mad at him that he believes different things than the polygamists do, because that's just how it is. If you were a vegetarian and you started eating meat, yeah, your vegetarian friends are going to think meat is murder. We all understand that, okay? More, Moreover... Everybody wants, you know, to be Cody, and Cody and the family want to be accepted and, and you know, have it okay. But then they don't accept that other people believe differently. Okay, so I, that, that I mean, is like, one... come on. That it's got to go point. both ways. That is one point, but... It's the right point. So anyway, to get... Uh, we're kind of talking around it. So Ken Grant, I guess, a couple years ago said a joke, and I'm saying joke because it hasn't really been established it was a joke, about you should just divorce three of your wives, come back to the Mormon church and get into heaven. Okay, and Christine is really mad about this. I don't necessarily agree with Christine, but what I do hate with a fiery passion is the way that Cody talked to her and talked about her in the interviews. Unacceptable. Okay, he berates her in front of everyone. He demeans her. He ignores her feelings. He does it all on camera. He does it in the interviews. So like a month later or however long the interviews are done, um, at the very least, is after this trip, he's still talking about her, about her throwing a tantrum. And John talked about that. He'd be talking high for the rest of his life. But you never would. But, I mean, that's the whole thing is that it was just, I can't even express the level of anger I have toward him. Just the fiery, punch him in the nuts anger More I have. More than me the other week? <laughs> Probably. I know, probably not. But that's different because I at least know you. This is this man I don't know. But it goes on for like 20, 30 minutes about how, well, she's just, this is just her ego. And everyone else in the family is like, you know, they're trying to like have a conversation about, well, you know, he's just this dumb guy. Move on. But this is the big irony, you know, he and and what oh. What makes me so mad is he keeps talking about his damn balls, like his balls have anything to do with this discussion. Oh, just thinking about telling him that he hurt my wife feeling makes my balls shrink. Okay, I'll show you, you know, anyway. And then he's like, oh, like I'm going to go to him and be like, you hurt my wife's feelings. She has my, and I thought, you know what, being respectful of your partner does not make you less of a man, you know. You know that if any of the girls' friends insulted Cody, that would be the end of it. And there's nothing, there's nothing emasculating about being respectful to your partner, especially if it goes, if it goes both ways, that's just how your marriage is set up. You know, it, it you know, anyway, I cannot even express how mad I am at what a dick he is. Taking care of your wife's feelings. I have nothing to do with your balls. It's just being a man. Right. Well, it's like, oh, a husband? You mean someone who likes... I, mean, I don't know. Ah. Anyway. And I don't even necessarily agree with Christine, but the way he talked about her, it's it's kind of like if someone mouths off to you, does it make them right? If you run them down with the car, you're more wrong than them, regardless of how but wrong they But you win were. that argument. But you do win that argument. So anyway, this whole... So I don't agree with Christine. I just think there's a lot more respectful ways he could handle it. Than the way he handled it. Yep. The end. Re repeatedly. Anyway, no, no, we gotta say one more thing. This went on and on and on. And somehow it became Christine's like, I feel like I ruined the party. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, pretty sure Cody had part of it. Um, no, the only other thing that happened was the small break in that was when Cody tried to rip one of his kids' teeth out with a pl pair of pliers. So he's really working for best husband in the world and best father. So. So there you go. I know, I know, I know my anger is kind of out of line with a reality TV show. But it's just, he's a dick. <laughs>